Hi guys, Barnaby here with Craig Vi for part two of this week's Youth Watch. And in part one, we talked about some of the results that the uh, underage categories have had this week. In part two, we're going to talk about our players who are out on loan at other clubs. So let's start. There's nowhere else to start, I don't think, other than with Nathan Adoa, who obviously I think we've all seen those tricks and flicks that he was bringing out for Rangers on his debut at the weekend. Yeah, and you know I'm a very big fan of this kid. Mm. Um, he, he, he's got it all, the skills, the techers, the speed, the power. Power, uh, the athleticism, he, and he, he looked really good. He had uh, his debut. Confidence, I'd probably add to that. Big time confidence. Yeah, yeah, he's not shy. He'll take anybody on. Yeah. And uh, he's he's gone up to uh, Glasgow Rangers along with Dominic Ball. Um, they've got two really solid players there, Rangers, mm. and uh, I think they're going to get some good game time as well. So really ones to watch out for. So, but he got his debut in the last, I think it, there was about half an hour left to go. He came on. He actually, I mean, Rangers were 3-1 up at mm -hmm. the time. Um, so it was a good time to bring somebody like yeah. him on. But he, he again, he, made, he pretty much made the fourth goal on his own. Did I he saw that with some nippy wing, wing play? Yeah. Nippy wing play, yep. Yeah, some nice uh, step overs. Great ball into the box, caused all sorts of problems. There was a, a deflection, and then they and then they went on to score. But yeah. nice performance. Nice to see him getting some game time and doing really, really well. And in case you haven't seen it, the the one they were all talking about. This was away at Aloha. He tried a rainbow flick, flicked mm. it over the defender, and um, lots of people saying basically, you know, that the defender should just beat him up for that kind of <laughs> level of arrogance. But as Spurs fans, yeah. uh, you know, uh, we're always all for that flair, aren't we? We love that. Okay, and Shaq Cool first. We talk about him a lot. Great yeah. name. Where's he? At and what's he's he at, doing? He's at Wigan. He's at Wigan. That's he, right. I think it's only a two month loan, actually. One or two month loan. Well, probably because we've got no strikers. I well, don't exactly, want to push him yeah, out. Yeah, we too need long. him back. And um, he travelled on the plane, of course, to, on the tour of the USA, yep. which he went to. Um, and he, he has been in and around the first team. A, a lot of people remember Shaq from that one particular year. I think it was 2012 13 when we were playing in the Next Gen series, mm -hmm. which is the kind of equivalent for the, the youth tournaments of the, the uh, Champions League, if you like. And in a game against Barcelona, which we went on to win 4 1, he scored a hat trick. And his name was sort of hitting the lights then. Right. It was, uh, he was being really talked up from that period of time. <laughs> Hasn't quite kicked on, I don't think, as, as, as quickly or as, as, as much as we thought he might do by this point in time, but there is a lot of promise yep. with this kid, and um, he, he, we'll see how he does at Wigan. Came on again uh, with about 20 minutes to go, I think, and, and did relatively well, but uh, that, in, that game ended, ended in a draw. I remember that uh, next gen series, because I remember that was when officially we became better than Barcelona That's it, yeah. at academy <laughs> level. That's right. Okay, and then Grant Ward and Connor O'Gilvy, uh, they're yeah, out on, on loan. Yeah, that's right. Grant Ward's at Rotherham. Rotherham. Yeah, he was banging them in during pre season. I don't quite understand why he's not getting the game time now that the season's underway. Maybe, I, I suppose that just shows how managers during the pre-season are, are more inclined to trust certain players sure. and then when the season gets underway they feel like the, the points are too precious and what yeah. have you. Um, but Fear factor. Fear yeah, factor. but the kid was on fire and um, I, I think he needs consistency. I think that's what really helps Grant Ward. So I'd like to see him getting more game time. So he was on the bench. Uh, Dominic Ball again at Glasgow Rangers on the bench and Conor O'Gilvy at Stevenage of course where Teddy Sheringham is now manager mm -hmm. was on the bench too but nice to see that these players are in the first team squads the and squads. being considered for match days Okay guys uh, let us know what you thought uh, of uh, well particularly probably Adoa's, uh, Adoa's stuff because that was all over the internet uh, but also about uh, Youth Watch in general in the comments section below let us know and don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and we'll see you next week for another Youth Watch Welcome back to Spurred on guys I'm Barnaby Slater I'm here with Craig Vi and Craig Mitch, the two Craigs, for a, another 8-bit debate. You